Hello there everyone, it's me Justin, you are Eagle Skipper here with episode 28 of Journey to the Top here with Middlesbrough FC. And well, a few games have gone by, we're coming back for our game against Midland in the Euro Cup Group H. I'll just go ahead and show you what Group H looks like. We've got drawn against Valencia, Midland, and Panathinaikos. So I will show you at least one of each of those teams over the next few days. Um, and yeah, let's take a look at the schedule. That since you saw us lose against our bogey team, Sheffield United, in the on the opening day. We then went and beat Watford 1-0. Joe Powell coming in off the bench, scoring the only goal in that one. We had an XG of like 3, so it was really disappointing to only get one goal. Last year we were very clinical. But uh, next up we faced Fulham, also at home. 2-1 victory. Deverich scoring his first for the team. Di Benedito also scoring a, a free kick. And we found where this guy went. He decided not to join us. Oh, and he got injured. Oops. Anyways... Uh, then we faced Man United, and this was a crazy game. We went up by a goal three separate occasions, and I didn't want to, want to do that, but we went up by a goal on three different occasions, and they, they added five minutes of extra time. We scored in the 95th minute, and rather than letting the opening kickoff after that be the end of the game, they let two more minutes tick by, and Man United scored an equalizer as the last kick of the game. That was really disappointing. One, that we weren't able to keep up our defense over the final closing moments of the game, but also really disappointing that the refs let like, that much extra time go by. Anyways, we can't control how much time the refs uh, give. We just have to play whistle to whistle. Um, but then we went and lost against Chelsea, and I tell you, this game, we should have won. There's only one person who can be blamed for this match going so south. And no, it is not any of the defenders or the goalkeeper, even though Josh Sousa has a 6.3. I am putting all the blame on Booty Ave. I mean, okay. So if we just take a look at at this, ga at this game, the Havertz goal, Booty Ave did a very bad back pass, was in a position to shoot, instead decided to give it all the way back to the center back who missed the pass who missed the who missed the pass and uh, Havertz ended up scoring he had nothing to do with this Torres goal but he had a penalty in the 73rd minute which he missed and then the highlight continued for Timo Werner to score in the 75th minute and then another bad back pass in the 86th and in the 81st the story continues once again so we are not sticking with him in goal, but we have a new tactic that we're going with in, in attack. He's not in goal. Um, we have this 4-4-2 four, four, diamond narrow Geigen press that has been working pretty well for us. We didn't play it in the last game. Um, but yeah, we've got uh, Perez in goal, back four of Sousa, Di Benedito, Otasui, and Pavel. Montiel is making his second start for the club uh, since, since the since coming back from injury. Wonderful physicals. Natural fitness and jumping really let him down, but other than that, he looks great. Niall John is starting out on the left. Deverich starting on the right. Major in attacking midfield. Marola and Dreyer in attack. And, uh, yeah. Let's get into this match against Midland. Um, really do expect that we win this one, um, but I need to see more attacking prowess from our team. Yes, we've scored in every game, but We've really underperformed our XG over the first few weeks. Um, let's tell them to make sure there's no doubt as to why we are the favorites. I do have faith. I'm not going to give any expectation. I am going to send the assistant. We're going to be in our red uniforms. And this is a, a beautiful stadium in game. And yeah, you can see the, the league table above my head, which is nice. So you can see what's going on in the other match in the group. Let's just expand this out just a tad. And yeah, we'll wait for a few more minutes to go by. They, they've scored, they've had three shots to our none. That's not good in the opening few minutes. The Perez has been dealing with it rather nicely. Um, I think I'm going to shout some encouragement in the 15th minute just to get some encouragement on the team because... They're not playing well. They're not playing well. May move to an attacking mentality. 
real early in the game, I know, but got to do something. Major's got a corner, puts it in, wants to find Di Benedito, finds Di Benedito, Di Benedito, squeaks it in. Wonderful, wonderful header, wonderful corner. And yeah, wonderful stuff. As the uh, on the field fans are really disappointed. Um, Major whips it in, finds Di Benedito, and Di Benedito doesn't score very many from there, but that was a wonderful goal. As there is a Middlesbrough flag hanging in Denmark. <laughs> Good to see. <laughs> Don't know how realistic that is. Well, I know how realistic that is. It's not. But still. Still, still, still. We'd like to see us, <clears throat> excuse me, score from open play as we get a throw in. Major gets it up, finds Marola. Marola is in a lot of space. Looks like he wants to get in a pass. No, he's going to he's going to run all the way. Gets a shot off. Keeper saves it easily, and it gets cleared away. Though that was a nice, nice, a uh, nice little run from him. Zan Pavel wants to get a throw in. Wants wants Dreyer can't find him. Montiel looks like he's going to slowly get on the end of it. Wants to get the ball back in. Finds Niall John up to Marola. Marola back to Niall. Oh, up to Sousa. Back to John. John's going to thread through Marola. Marola squeaks it by. Wonderful pass from Niall John. The current um, Tottenham youngster. Yeah, I mean, he was just all over that one, wasn't he? He gets it up to Marola, who gives it back to him, finds Sousa, Sousa finds Niall, Niall finds Marola in through score. Wonderful play. Wonderful play. As we now see Perez passing it up to Atasui. Atasui looks like he wants to charge forward, gets it over to Zan Pavel, who looks like he's going to want to get try to beat this one guy. Gets a big ball over the top for Darren Dreyer. Darren Dreyer, one touch. Second one gets blocked away. I mean, realistically, that's that's what to expect in that sort of situation. As Livermore Major goes to take another corner, once Di Benedito, this time he gets right into the hands of the keeper. But uh, yeah, we've got a number of players who pl are playing rather well. Our goal difference has us above Valencia, which is nice to see. And yeah, Livermore Major stepping up for another corner. Once Otasui this time, Otasui hits it over the crossbar. Yeah, I want Otasui, if I can just highlight him real quick. He's got 18 jumping, 13 heading. Really would expect him to score more goals from the cor from corners. And he has scored a lot of goals from corners, just all in the first season that he was here. None very recently, as our two new midfielders are playing their own little game. Montiel finds Marola. Montiel gives it to John. John up to Darren Dreyer. Darren Dreyer uses his left foot. He is right-footed, that's why it went directly at the keeper. If he was able to use his right foot, probably would have been different, but it was another wonderful through ball from Niall John. Um, as Major wants to take another corner, wants somebody this time. Not sure who he wanted, but uh, it's now a throw-in. And uh, it's nice to see us having some attacking prowess and us outscoring our XG. We haven't done that all season. Um... <laughs> as Major is going to take another corner. Once Di Benedito, this time it goes wide. That's that's what we've seen a lot from him. Tiago, the wonder kid. 13 heading, 16 jumping. See, he's got less jumping ability, though he looks like he's nearing his fulfilling his potential. I'm telling him I'm happy with the way things are going. We're going to start the second half. Darren Dreyer is in need of coming off if he can't provide a contribution doesn't have to be a goal but it has to be above a 7.0 average rating um, Niall John has been playing very well though Deverich is probably the one who needs to come off first um, again not playing poorly just needs a con a contribution as Sousa tries to beat somebody luckily gets it away to Marola Marola wants Sousa it was a poor pass Dreyer gets on the end of the missed header but uh, Major is now on the end of the missed clearance tackles himself a few times and Montiel is able to collect it nicely gets it up once Darren Dreyer can't find him my goodness come on guys just find the person you're trying to get the pass to as Zan Pavel gets tackled 
but gives him even more space to try to put in a cross, but he gives it back to Deverich. Deverich into Darren Dreyer. Darren Dreyer can't score that. Niall John can't get on the end of the uh, the, the, the block. Um, Zan Pavel needs to come off. Rosas get on the field. Um, Deverich is going to come off for Svenberg, our vice captain. And we're going to hold on to our last substitution to see if Darren Dreyer needs to come off for Boudieff. Because probably need to keep on Niall John, given that he has contributed so much for our team. This game, even though it's not showing up on the uh, on the rating sheet, I am going to take off Darren Dreyer. We're going to give we're going to give Boudieff a little run out. Give him a chance. Give him a chance. Make up for your mistakes, buddy. I really want to make a shout, but I know the only one that's going to work is praise, and I know that praise never works. <laughs> so I'm just not going to touch anything. He says as he drops it back. Um, disciplined, high tempo. Yeah. Yeah. Let's do whipped crosses. Small change, but maybe it will get, make a little bit of a difference. As we see a throw in from Susa. Susa wants to get it up to Marola. Finds Marola. Marola into Niall John. Niall John into Marola. Marola looks like he wants to take a shot and does. And it bounces off of the crossbar. Had the keeper beat. Unlucky for David Marola. Really wanted to pull off a Marola special. The second season here at the club. Hasn't done one yet. Though he, he tried that time. He came really close. Came really close. As we now just need to shut up shop. I'm going to move Montiel from being a deep line playmaker to being an anchor man. And because Major's already an, an advanced playmaker, so it's fine to do that. I actually think I'm going to make a little bit of a change. Maybe a bit controversial, but I'm going to <laughs> drop everybody in midfield back uh, just a tad. Have Niall John be a. <laughs> Deep line playmaker on defend. Svanberg, B A. Let's make him be a regista. And major, just be a. Just be a roving playmaker. We'll have, we'll run with three playmakers in midfield, most of them in defensive midfield, just for the last few minutes of the game. I know it's not going to make much of a difference, but hopefully it can help aid our defense. And, uh, I mean, it, we see it out. Probably we're going to see it out anyways. But uh, let's outstretch our arms, tell them that we're very happy with the result and the way they played. And we'll get into uh, get into here. Major was stellar. He was indeed. That was a nice, nice number of quality chances. We received half a million pounds for for winning in the, in the group stage. So, yeah, I think tomorrow's episode is going to be this Valencia game. And uh, yeah, if you enjoyed today's episode, go ahead and leave a like, drop a comment if you want to name a youth intake player, and subscribe if you'd like to continue to join us on our journey to the top. Mm -hmm.